What's up my beautiful friends? I am here at our hotel in Miami getting ready to go on a cruise. There's a hurricane coming, uh, but we're gonna leave before it gets here. It's coming to Tampa actually, but we're gonna leave before it gets here and get back after um, after it goes through, uh, just praying and thinking about everybody that's gonna impact, uh, impact uh, as it's headed for Tampa. Uh, but what I wanna share with you guys, um, you guys know I've gone through a huge transition in my life after 15 years. I'm launching my new uh, company from the ground up with a friend and I am uh, starting uh, consulting, business consulting. Well, one of the, my biggest tips is whenever I go somewhere, whether it's to my cabin or hunting or camping, I stay consi consistent in the most vital activities. And one of the first things I do when I get to a hotel room is I unpack my workout gear, set it out and I pack and I put on the table my personal development book, my journal, and my laptop to get ready to work. When you have it out and in front of you, you're more likely to take action, sit down and work, than if if you have it uh, put away in your suitcase, per, uh, for example. Uh, it just takes away one decision, less mental stress. You, It's there and it's ready to go. So build that habit. Uh, first thing every single morning, even though I feel like so excited to go out and, and talk to people and, and lead the people that have, have come on this journey with us so far, I, have to first work on myself and you have to do that as well. Uh, some of those biggest tips are making sure that you do your morning spiritual work, your prayer, your meditation, that you write your goals and your vision uh, and, and journal out your thoughts, that you read a personal development book. And then for me, it's adding value to the world in some way, whether that's a video or, or, or creating a post on social media. So I'm staying true to that. Now, the funny thing that I wanted to, that I put on my social media today was there this saying that bad things come in threes. And uh, for me, it's kind of funny how it worked. Um, just over a month ago, I, I had over 10 million views a month on my Instagram and Instagram was paying me for this thing called Reels Play. Uh, and I was getting over $5,000 a month for just creating Reels on my Instagram with 10 million views per month. Well, this thing came up, my kids had a raffle for football and, and it had some, some guns for uh, the prizes. So I just copy and paste it into my stories, not even on my feed, the Venmo to, to get $10 for raffle and the prizes. Anyway, within three to five minutes, they shut down my monetization and took that 5,000 away, the ability to earn. I was like, dang, that really sucks, but it is what it is. It was just a bonus thing that I had created. Second thing, just about a week later, our basement flooded in our house and we had to take everything out of the storage room and our whole basement was just array. We got to dry it out but it's just like stuff everywhere. And I don't like cluster. I like cleanliness and order. So I was like, huh, that's two things. A week later, a vehicle crashed into our garage, knocked the brick off the garage onto the top of the vehicle, blew out the side of the garage where the electrical panel is. There's three. I'm like, okay, it's done. But these things are all just things, money, things. Those things can be replaced. So I have a good mindset because I work on those habits that I shared with you at the beginning of this video. Well, little did I know, when the fourth thing happens, there's it's the shutting of one door and the opening of another door for the biggest blessing. So I am one of those very blessed people that don't get three, but get four. When what happened happened last week, and now I get to be creative and go out and create something new, to develop something new and to step into that next level of my life. And one thing I want you to know, if you've been watching me on this journey for 15 years, is I don't take these decisions lightly. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine. He was a corporate mentor for the company that we built, helped build together in the last 15 years of my life. And I said to this man, I said, hey, I want to make sure that the next thing that I do takes me to retirement, that it's my life's work. So here we are, my friends. I'm gonna challenge you to develop those habits, to build those habits and to can stay consistent in those. And no matter what, it's your time to rise, no matter what you're doing as a role model in this world.